Hello, everybody, and welcome to more of my two spoopy Halloween special. As always, this is your host, Gunsage, and today we will be playing Passing Pine View Forest, version 1.1. I have never played this game, I have no idea what it's about. Let's see, follow the path Throot. Yes, Throot. Pine View Forest until the end, but be quiet, otherwise, it will take you. Good luck. What is it? Well, anyway, let's have a look at these options. Yeah, that looks okay. All right, let's get started. Passing Pine View Forest is now loading. Yeah, you know when you go to the nature trails and they load? That's, that's awful. Well, while we're waiting, how was your day? Ah, yeah, been there. Okay. Apparently there's an Oculus Rift version of this too. So, we've got a couple of grass cropped areas here. Do the wave! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, let's go. It's pretty cool. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, seriously. Wow, you move a lot slower when you strafe. Alright. So what is it? What is it exactly that will take me? Because I said to be quiet, otherwise it will take me. But I'm not really sure what it is. This place would probably look pretty beautiful in the daytime. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's very atmospheric. I just don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Do I just walk? Do I run? I mean, I can run. I guess. I mean... Hmm. Birds or something. Oh, that's cool. That is cool, man. Like a little moonlight effects here. Well, not a whole lot's really happening. Now, it could be like Black Rose, like something crazy will happen out of nowhere, but I don't know. I guess I'm just meant to follow the path. I mean, I suppose. Well, I heard something. didn't see anything. I hope you can't hear that. My fucking cats are playing in the background. <clears throat> I'm gonna kick their ass. Jesus. Don't do catnip, kids. It's a gateway drug. It leads to assholesnish. Yeah, assholesnish. Certainly not assholishness. What? Nothing's happening. Oh, the trees are changing. Well, that's different. It's kind of cool. Got some bells or some shit. Oh, okay, we got like a divergent path. Well, I want to go in the trees. Can I go in the trees? Ah. Hmm. Well, let's do the stupid white people thing. 
What, I can't go in? Really? Why can't I go in? Yeah, I can't, okay. Got stuck on the geometry. Can I open shit? Nope. Can I hide in here? Nope. I mean, you got this music, but like nothing's really happening. Oh, somebody vomited. And something upstairs? Yeah, man, I'm getting stuck on the environment. That's really annoying. I mean, come on, really? Get up, get up there. Ew. Ew. Gross. Gross. Not scary, just gross. Meh. Squeak. Let's play. No. I'm getting tired of walking. I don't care if it finds me. Because I don't know what it is, so. Can I go in here? Oh. Yeah. Don't me don't get me wrong. It's it's you know, it's got some nice atmosphere to it, but there's nothing happening. I'm not encouraging the game to suddenly throw a jump scare at me. I'm just saying nothing is happening. Oh, it's Harry Potter's room. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I think this game was free, but. That doesn't really give a game an excuse to be boring or crappy. It really doesn't, because I've played some free games that are actually really fun and really interesting. But they're usually over really fast. And then I'm like, ah, Like, um, what was that one game? It's like Princess something or other. But you play as this princess that's going around and healing people. And she's, uh, it's like a shooter, but also an RPG. It's really interesting. I think it's Princess Rem uh, Remedia or something. Something like that. Anyway, it was a pretty fun game. And it was free. I can't remember if it was used to promote something or not. But, I mean, yeah, dude, th there have been plenty of free games that I've played that have been really cool, so, you know, going ahead and saying, oh, well, all free games are the same. They're just a bunch of artsy pieces of shit. No. No, they're not. There are actually some pretty cool ones out there. Actually, there's one that I wanted to play, but I can't get it to record properly, and that's Brain Bread 2. Looked like it was going to be really funny. And I realized it wasn't recording, so I stopped playing it. It's kind of sad. I'll probably end up playing it anyway. I just need to figure out why this shit's not recording half the time. That reminds me, I never did a chime check. Okay. Of course, I never did a time check because this is a free game, so I assumed it would be over pretty fast. Let's just run. I don't care. Another divergent path. Although, really, the last time it didn't seem like it really diverged. It was just kind of, you know, it led to the same area, so whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, we got a little chapel here. Okay. See, this almost seems like it was meant to be the level of a different game. Like it was meant to be a, a shooter on a zombie game or something. 
but they just never use the map for anything, so they're like, ah, eh, fuck it, dump it. Fuck is this? Oh, yeah, I think I got a coworker that looks like that. A squeaky bunny. Are you serious? Oh shit. What? Now come on. Are you serious right now? What? But it... Okay. I wonder if it's because I ran too much. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna try to get back to where I was. Maybe I went the wrong way. Maybe I was supposed to run. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to run all the way there. Let's see what happens. Need some of this coffee. Ugh. Like, I get that you're supposed to be quiet, but dude, this path is so long. It is so long. You cannot tell me you're meant to walk this whole stupid thing. Especially with nothing happening. Like, come on. Ah, oh boy. Yeah, you better be quiet or it will catch you. Because it's doing a damn fine job right now. You know, if this is meant to be a game where you make too much noise and you're caught, <clears throat> they could have shortened the path. They could have had stuff you could accidentally trip over. They could have had it where there were a lot of shadowed areas and a lot of not so shadowed areas. They could have done this a lot different if that's the way it was meant to be. But that's not what they did. So... I'm a little confused as to what exactly is going on. Like, did I get captured by the Scarecrow? Is that the it? I don't get it. I don't get it. But I do know that I didn't get captured until after that point, and I do know that I got captured whenever I was walking, so I'm not walking anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to take the right path. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to bother exploring, I'm just going to keep moving. You know? Well, this is the same so far. And don't get me wrong, I wouldn't have been so annoyed about the the one hit kill there were it not for the fact that you know <laughs> there was there were no save points and there was nothing I could do. I mean, you know, it's completely unprompted. It's just weird. I don't mind weird, but, you know, if I don't know what the hell's happening, then it's not that interesting, to be honest. Yeah. Let's go this way. Yep, still got captured. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Like... And honestly, squeaky bunnies are not scary. Game designers, just, just a note. Squeaky bunnies are not scary. 
I'm not really sure what the purpose of this is. You just, what, you get to the end of the path, and then what is it like Clown House? It goes, you escaped this time, and then it starts over or something. You see what I'm saying? <sighs> All right, we're done here. <sighs> Man, come on. I mean, you're giving, you're giving free games a bad rap here, seriously. I actually like to spotlight free games that are really good and really fun and really interesting. And then every so often, you got to come across some bullshit like that. Don't get me wrong, the atmosphere was really good, but they didn't do anything with it. They basically had it was like, look, it's a scarecrow, and as soon as you pass him, yep, you're fucking dead. Like, come on. And they didn't even have you save as soon as you got to the scarecrow. If they had you save as soon as you got to the scarecrow, it'd have been like, well, okay. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, sure, fine. But no, I gotta go ahead and walk all the way through that stupid path again just to get to the Scarecrow, just to die five seconds later. That's dumb. That's really dumb. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll go ahead and watch a video of how to do it right later, but as it stands, that was kind of stupid. Anyway, uh, I certainly hope you've enjoyed. This is Gunsage, and we've been playing Passing Pineview Forest for my two spoopy. Halloween special. And as always, you stay awesome. Hey guys, thank you once again for watching. You stay awesome. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos just like this one.